because it is the Monday after Thanksgiving break. If you're a teacher, you know. Shout out to David for saving the day on that one. Math, multiplication. This is what we've been doing. I feel like my anchor chart game is kind of strong. I started editing this vlog last night and I just wanted to say, like I was watching myself, I was like, I'm having a great time this week. Like what a great week it's been. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. My name is Katie. I'm a third grade teacher in the state of Florida, and you're here for a week in my life vlog. All right, I'm walking around, and this is going to be a short intro today. I have a feeling I may fill you in a little bit more in the afternoon because it is the Monday after Thanksgiving break. If you're a teacher, you know. Um, I haven't had like nervous feelings since the very first day of school, um, but I'm feeling like the jitters today of coming back, but only because we're doing some things a little different than the curriculum. Um, so <laughs> math is going to be totally normal this morning, but I think I'm just getting like a little jittery because we're starting a novel study today on Charlotte's Web and I'm really excited for it, but I also don't know if it's going to take up my entire language arts block and if it doesn't, I don't know what we're going to do. So there's that. I also realized last night that I totally forgot that I was going to go get folders with Brad's for them to make their and like put the first six chapters of our like book study guide into their folder so they could color the cover and we could do the like background knowledge pages. Totally forgot to do that over the break. Honestly, no regrets. <laughs> I spent my Chris my Christmas break, Thanksgiving break with my family like the whole time and just enjoyed every single second of it. So I don't have any regrets there, but I was like, dang it, because David went to the grocery store yesterday to um, pick up what we needed for the week grocery wise. And I should have put that on the list, but I just forgot, totally forgot. Um, And that's okay. That's a-okay. <laughs> Oh gosh, but that's, that's about where we're at right now. Um, so, and I need to spend a minute to get like ready for what I'm going to teach in math. Just make sure that I've got all my ducks in a row, get my morning slides ready, things like that. Um, so I'm not going to check in very long with you guys today, but if you're watching this, I know it's like, like maybe a week or two after the Thanksgiving break, but I hope you had a wonderful break and spent lots of time with family and just with loved ones and ate lots of food and enjoyed um, I have 17 days left of teaching until Christmas break. So this vlog will take you through the first five of those 17. I'm already looking forward to Christmas break. Um, it's going to be nice, but it is difficult. I saw a post last night and I shared it on my Instagram that like <laughs> the weeks between Thanksgiving break and Christmas break as a teacher are like the round in Mario Kart where the music goes bum, 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 and then it starts to like play faster. Um, that's how it feels to be an elementary teacher in these like couple weeks. Cause it's like, there's three weeks and two days and I can see all the things that we're going to jam pack into those days. And it's insane, but it's totally fine. I think we'll be okay. Um, but I'm just checking in here and then I'm going to let you guys go. I'll check in in the afternoon and let you know how the day went. But honestly, like I want to chat with my coworkers this morning, see how their breaks went, get my morning slides ready, get whatever I'm doing in the book like for math ready, see if I can figure out what I'm doing for reading. Maybe we'll start with like a what we did over Thanksgiving break, like mini writing, and then we'll do the novel study just so I've got time. But I'm pretty sure I have my planning time today. I don't know. I need to open my <laughs> planner and even see if I have any meetings today because I think my meeting that I have this week is on the 29th. But anyways, I'll pick you guys up this afternoon and like update you on the day. But welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so fun update. David got the folders and dropped them off. So I just went up to the office to pick them up. And a reading will be when they come back from specials. So now I have the folders for a book study. So shout out to David for saving the day on that one. It is Tuesday. I just arrived at school and I am turning everything on 
in my classroom. Um, and I'm going to update you on yesterday because I never picked the phone back up. I went home in the afternoon and cooked dinner and got stuff ready for Bible study. Um, so all of that, I got here early this morning, just delivered pretzels. I made, um, like a spicy seasoned pretzel for Bible study last night. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. Um, cause they're like a fan favorite of my family. And so I made those last night and I had a lot left over. So I just delivered a bunch to my coworkers when I arrived this morning and I'm now getting all of my things turned on on the board. I got a ton of things done yesterday. David saved the day and brought the folders. We started Charlotte's Web. We continued multiplication. Let me go in order. Math, multiplication. This is what we've been doing. I feel like my anchor chart game is kind of strong, even though it's backwards, so you can't see. Let me turn it around. So in chapter five, we're learning like strategies for different, like, okay, let me start by saying in chapter four, we learned what multiplication is conceptually and lots of different strategies and ways to represent multiplication. Chapter five is going like, times table by times table and thinking of additional strategies now that they understand the concept like multiplying by twos is doubles facts if you're multiplying by four you can double then double again counting by fives um tens put a zero in the ones place and move digits to the next place value multiply by five and add one more group for times six so that's what we've been learning in chapter five we've also been learning um, properties and multiplication. So we've done all of these today we're adding associative and we've been doing skip counting songs so i have count by fours which I've already shared, count by sixes. I can count by sixes for sure. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and 42, 48, 54, 60, we're through. And then count by sevens is what we did yesterday. It's to the tune of We Don't Talk About Bruno. So we listened to the song. I'll link that in the description too. It's like this really fun body percussion like version of the song. But then it goes, we can count by seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can count by seven. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and 42, 49, and 56, 63, and 70. So that's what we've been doing in math. For reading, I'm going to take you over to the table and show you our like Charlotte's Web book that we've been making or that we started yesterday since David was so gracious and brought the folders. And I'll show you what pages we did yesterday and kind of preview the pages that we're going to be working on today as part of our novel study. It was really fun and I'm really glad that I have this in these like three weeks before the next holiday break because I think it's just kind of like a breath of fresh air to do something different and to just study a novel and kind of get to be, I don't know, look at a story completely because I feel like in curriculum a lot of the times you like touch on a story and you do it for three days and then you move on so it feels really nice to like get complete um like closure on a story and get to spend a long time on it so let me show you that okay so here's the folder I made this based off of a free product on teachers pay teachers and so I will link the free slide product in the description so you can get it if you want. However, I cannot link this product because I just made it for my class and I don't have like all the rights to share everything that's inside the product because some of it are things that I purchased or that I downloaded that I don't have the rights to share. So I will link the slide that I based it off of so you can kind of see. Um, I made my plans back in um, November. So I just made a calendar of what we're doing, which chapters, which day, which days we're doing checkpoint quizzes. And then we have some testing days next week in there and the holiday things. So all of that is in there. Um, here's what the cover looks like. Well, they all have a blue folder with Brad's from Walmart, 30 cents. Um, and then here's the cover with this coloring page. They're really excited to color it. We didn't have time yesterday, but I think today we might. And then on the inside, there's a character chart, also a freebie that I'll link from TPT. Um, so we started filling this out yesterday for any characters we were introduced to. And then what we did yesterday was our background knowledge page. Some of this is filled out on mine, but the kids did it all. So I asked them if they had read or watched this story before. We talked about the setting on a farm and the students all drew a picture of a farm and we brainstormed on an anchor chart that's right up there, that purple and orange one, like some of the words and things that they would find on a farm. And then we brainstormed facts about spiders because there's a character in here that's a spider. And then we did chapter one and chapter two yesterday. So we talked about the word injustice and runt. Those were our vocabulary words for chapter one. Then we got to read it together. I have a class set of 12 books. One student brought a book in and then I had my copy that I put up on the board. So we all read chapter one together. We found the vocabulary words and then we read chapter two. And chapter two was kind of like a, 
a compare and contrast sequencing thing. So it was like, use this graphic organizer to compare Fern's daily routine to your own daily routine. Um, and so that's all we did for chapter one and two. Today, we're gonna do chapters three and four. So we're gonna start with a little quick summary. We're gonna write three sentences to refresh our memory on what we read in chapters one and chapter two. And we'll probably do that one together this time, like guided, and then the next time a quick summary pops up in the packet, I'll let them do it on their own. Then we have three vocabulary words, sky, gander, and hullabaloo. And then chapter three, scan chapter three for examples of descriptive language that help you visualize the hullabaloo taking place on the farm. Draw what you visualize. So here's the descriptive words. Here's the drawing of what was taking place on the farm because it's kind of crazy. And then chapter four, there's just one, oh, there's two things. So there's the word glutton in chapter four. And then in this chapter, Wilbur was feeling lonely. Take a moment with your table to identify some of his actions, thoughts, and feelings that display his loneliness which is what we do when we analyze characters. We find actions, thoughts, and feelings. And then have you ever felt lonely? Write about a time that you felt lonely. And so I'll give them a little time to write and reflect and make a connection with the text. So that's what we're doing in reading. Whew, I'm all out of breath today. Um, it's a happy day. I'm wearing my Big Teacher Energy shirt with this fun corduroy like jacket over, overneath, over top on it. <laughs> it's from Walmart. My mom got it for me last year. And I have a new Apple Watch, the Series 9. I had a Series 3 and David got this one for me for my birthday. So I'm really excited for that because I can check all my notifications. My old one was kind of lagging. So the notification button would stay there, but I couldn't check it. And I also wasn't able to see my reminders very well, but now I am. So I can like easily click and see who I have to send where today. So that's kind of a game changer. Um, I just need to consolidate my school reminders a little bit better in the app and then I think I'll be fine. Um, all the while I'm getting ready for Christmas stuff. So I got some Oriental trading crafts in yesterday that we're gonna do next week because we have our second round of FAST testing. And so we'll test in the morning and then craft when we're done testing for Christmas crafts and ornaments. It's a great break so we don't have to like teach anything after we test. It gives us time to like paint and glue and do all those things. So I've been making a list of things that I need to get for that. Um, cause I'll need to go to the store maybe today or tomorrow. I haven't decided which one. Um, but that's about it. I have a lot of students who've been checking in, checking out, who are sick this week, which is unfortunate, but we're here, we're making it. So I have a training this afternoon. Hopefully I can check in before or after the training, probably after the training. Cause I have, um, car duty this afternoon and just let you know how the day went, um, and kind of fill you in there. So that's all I got. I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It is freezing cold today in Florida, and I'm not exaggerating because it's 34 degrees when I left the house. My hands are so cold. I was not built for this cold weather. Ah, oh, it's so cold. I just prefer the warm. I actually prefer the in-between, doesn't everybody, but I think I'd take the hot over the cold. The cold just makes me hurt, but I do like wearing like cold weather clothes, like styling cold weather clothes. Oof, my dull pencil bucket is getting full. I got a lot to do this morning. Happy Thursday. Okay, so we're gonna walk and talk our way over to the pencil bucket, but I've not picked up the camera in the afternoon on Tuesday and I didn't pick it up at all yesterday except to do a little bit of B-roll footage for you guys. So I apologize for that. It's been a um, long week, but it's been good. It's been great. We've just been so, so busy. And then I have car duty in the afternoon. So when the afternoon comes, I'm just ready to like 
go the ski daddle on home so what i'm going to do before i like chat with you guys is take care of this monstrosity all of these are in the dull bucket and my sharp bucket looks like this so i still have a lot of sharp ones but the dull ones are starting to outweigh the sharp how am i supposed to sharpen this whose is this this is one of those pencils that you like have to take the whoever it was they didn't know that you do that with the pencil um I used to love these when I was little. There we go. It's sharp. I'm going to put it in the sharp bucket and hopefully they'll come pick it back up. Okay, let me take care of these and then we'll chat. Okay, so things we've done the last few days. We have, in math, continued... Our math fact practice, we learned the associative property, where you can move the parentheses around. And today we're doing facts times eight and times nine. I'm combining these two because next week on Monday, we're going to do a day of like fast testing review before our second round of state testing. If you're new here to my vlogs in the state of Florida, we do the FAST, the Florida Assessment of Student Thinking, and we do it three times a year, kind of like progress monitoring. It's like the end of the year third grade test we give it in August, December, and in May. So this will be their second progress monitoring and I'm excited to see how they've grown since we've learned multiplication. So that's like a whole section of the test that a lot of them will be able to access now that they didn't know how to do it all the first time. So that'll be good. But on Monday, we're going to do like a review day because our testing is going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm combining two lessons today to do multiplying by eights and by nines. We'll go over strategies that they can use for eights. I do have a skip counting song. It's right over here. While I'm walking, I'll click on my tabs on the board um it's right over here i have this product that i use that i've linked before and i think i've already linked it in the description but i i will if i haven't um and they have skip counting songs i didn't care for the counting by eight one just because i wasn't familiar with the song it's the one that goes like once i was seven years old and that's the only part of the song i know so i wasn't able to do like the skip counting to it because i couldn't get the melody so i just made a poster that was similar to hers and i changed it to shake it off because i have a lot of swifties in my class and so this will be Fun. It'll be like 8, 16, 20. Let's try it again. 8, 16, 24, and 32. 40, 48, 56, and 64. 72, and 80. Count by 8. Count by 8. So that's me really fun. Um, and I always do like the regular song kids bop style so they can dance to it before we do the skip counting so they can like really get the song in their head. <laughs> um, so we'll do that today for counting by eights and then we're going to do counting by nines and for counting by nines we'll talk about strategies it's like break it down but then we'll also talk about the trick you can do with your hands where if it's nine times one you put down your first finger and it's nine nine times two you have one and eight for 18 i don't know if that's backwards for you guys because i have it on selfie cam so i apologize if it is um nine times three you have your two tens and your seven ones so that's just a quick trick they can use and again i'm teaching all of these because they already have conceptual understanding of multiplication that's so important don't just teach them the finger trick and say okay great you know your nines because if they don't understand what that means it doesn't make any sense but since we spent a whole chapter talking exactly about what it means um i feel confident that teaching them these tricks will help them with their fluency at this point so um that's what we've been doing in math and then in language arts we've been continuing our charlotte's web word word study novel study um and it's been really good we're all the way up to chapter six and because we're at chapter six we're going to do a little mini quiz today for comprehension it just has the vocabulary words we've been working on and then some comprehension questions oh and yesterday we added the spider to the classroom and so i'm writing a vocabulary word that we've gone over every day in the spider web and when we start our lesson we're just reviewing that word and getting like a really good review on it um so we learned objectionable yesterday and i thought that one was kind of hard so we're doing that one today yesterday the spider web said hullabaloo so we went over that one and I had people come and observe my reading lesson, which is another reason I didn't pick up the camera because yesterday I just really needed to make sure that I got my math stuff together, which I haven't done up here, my math stuff together and like ready to go for the morning so that I could spend my planning, like reviewing my, um, my reading stuff before I was observed because, um, it wasn't like scary, but there were a lot of 
teachers in my room who are coming to observe me. I had my formal observation the week before Thanksgiving break and it went really well. And then my principal was like, hey, can I bring some teachers who are new to our school, not necessarily new teachers, but new to our school to your classroom where they did like a classroom um, observation day where they went to a classroom in each grade level. And I was flattered that she asked me because I know there's teachers with a lot of experience on my team, um, but she liked my lesson and was like, I would love to bring them to your room just to show a variety of different teaching styles. So I was very excited about that, but I did have a lot of people in my room watching during my reading lesson yesterday, which made me a little nervous, but honestly, it was really fun. I think I was nervous for like the first two minutes they were in the room and I was finishing up the, um, our read aloud of Strangeville schools. And then once we started the Charlotte's Web stuff, I wasn't nervous at all anymore. Um, but getting through two chapters a day has been has been tricky. It's been a lot. So, um, all of that to say, I can't think if there's anything else I need to update you guys on. It's the last day of November. We get ice cream today as a boosterthon prize and it's freezing cold outside. So that'll interrupt our day. We also have a lockdown drill in the morning. So that'll kind of interrupt our day. And then after school, I've got to hang up Christmas stuff and I did not bring the Christmas tree up. So I might have to go home, get the Christmas tree and then come back. But I have my box full of other things like the garland and then the little fake lights and the snowflakes. So I'll work on hanging all of that stuff this afternoon too. And I got to do Friday folders today because tomorrow's Friday. So I'm going to be like busy, busy all day today. And we have a grade level meeting. So this Thursday is going to be nuts. I used to have grade level meetings on Thursdays when I taught in Alabama. And so Thursdays were always like stressful for me. Now they're on Wednesdays usually, but today it's on a Thursday because our um, teachers who are new to our team were doing their observation day thing yesterday. So anyways, that was a long winded way to say hello. Happy Thursday. Sorry, I haven't checked in with you guys. I started editing this vlog last night and I just got to say, like, I was watching myself. I was like, I'm having a great time this week. Like what a great week it's been. I just seemed so happy. And so like, I just love what I was doing. So Anyways, that's all. I was like, dang, I'm having like a good week. I feel I feel like I'm super happy in this vlog. So ah, that's it. I've talked like a thousand miles a minute. I'm going to get some stuff done, sip on my coffee this morning, make a very long to-do list because as I was talking to you, more things just popped into my brain. Um, and that's it. Check in with you guys. Hopefully in the afternoon, if I don't like check in and talk with you, I'll at least put a little bit of footage of me decorating my room for Christmas. Mr. Allen loves to drink root beer. I do not like to drink. We did not have cotton candy when we went. Was that the popular pick? He is so cute. Yeah, you can pet him on the head.